Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Seeking the Bay. So in today's video, we're going to continue talking about the villa market and we're going to look at the ready market of the Bay Hills. We're going to look at Maple, Sidra, Golf Place and compare that with some of the off-plan that's taking place in the area, specifically District 1 West, a project that just sold out last week. And, uh, you know, just talk about acres, knowledge, Shiba gardens. And, and so the idea of this video is to actually compare what the valuations are in the ready market in, in the Bay Hills, which is the benchmark for villa communities in Dubai and then see you know what kind of activity is happening in the vicinity and and the differences in between the valuations and what the motivations are then to purchase an offline project rather than something in the ready market. So that's the idea for this video. Uh, in, in the last video we made, we actually did talk more about the villa market and we, we mentioned where new villa developments are taking place. And so that's kind of shown over here. We've got the Valley Project, the Mock Hills 2 in the suburbs, outskirts of the city. We've got Dubai South, which is one of the most important growing areas of Dubai. Then last year we've had the launch of Palm Jebel Ali, five fronds have, have launched and sold out so far. We've got Dubai Islands coming up on the waterfront later this week where villas and townhouses are launching in Island B uh, right over here. But in today's video what we'll do is we're going to talk about the most central part of Dubai where villas and townhouses are coming up and that's Mohammed bin Rashid city over here. So coming back to this map, let's talk about prices and valuations in Maple and Sidra. So Maple are the townhouses, Sidra are the villas. This is considered the high end part of the Bay Hills. And then everything that's a bit more upgraded, luxury, upscale is, is in this part of the Bay Hills over here. So Sidra and Maple were launched in 2015, 2016, started handing over in 2019 and 2020. So let's just do a quick price comparison. Uh, so if you look at Maple and Sidra over here, you're looking at, let's say in dollar terms, uh, you can say between $500 to $700 per square foot. And if you compare that to acres and acres uh, is and acres is not a like for like comparison. First of all, they don't have townhouses. They're all independent villas. It's one of the most beautiful master plans that's coming up anywhere. It's by Miras. It's considered luxury grade. And over here, prices are between you can say 420 to uh, 480 dollars per square foot. Okay? So that's the kind of difference between the off plan and the resale market when you're just looking at this segment. And it's not a like for like comparison. Now, if you come to the luxury segment of the Bay Hills, this is this part over here where the golf course is. And then we've got a community called Golf Place. This was launched in 2019 and then 2021 in two phases. Everything's ready right now. And here you have four, five, and six bedroom villas. You're near the golf course. The larger property types are on the golf course itself. And a four bedroom here, astonishingly, will rent for at least a million dirhams per year. It's absolutely phenomenal and just goes to show you the kind of pressures that are there in the villa market. And we've talked about this consistently for the past two, three years. There's a shortage of new villas coming up. Now, of course, the markets reacted to that. There are a lot of new villa projects coming up, but most of them are catering to the luxury villa segment. And so there's less kind of new projects coming up that will compete with the high-end segment like Maple and Sidra. Uh, but there are a lot of new communities coming up, which you know are a bit similar to Golf Place. So uh, one of the examples of a project that competes with Golf Place is District 1 West. And so last week, Nakhil actually launched the second phase of District 1 West, which uh, a lot of people might have already heard about. So right next to Dubai Hills, which we've just been talking about, we've got the community of District 1 West and we've got the main District 1 over here. We've got District 1 Phase 3. So now, District 1 West has been launched in two phases. So the first phase was launched last year, almost 12 months ago. And this entire area is already sold out, four, five, six, seven bedroom villas with a lagoon in the middle, which is similar to what you have in District 1. And then you've got the seven bedroom mansions in the middle. There's still a couple of these available. Everything else was sold out. And then there's actually been a strong secondary market activity taking place over here. So if you are looking to purchase something on the secondary market, which actually, you know, we've got some very, very good properties for sale available over here. So even if you're an agent working or representing a buyer, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And over here we have the West Phase 2, which was just launched uh, about four days ago. And so this is the master plan of what they just launched and sold out. So in West Phase 2, uh, you have four, five, and six bedroom villas. The four bedroom villas are all here in yellow and brown. And in this master plan, what they've done differently is all the five bedroom villas are directly on the lagoon. And so that's never been the case for the previous phases. So five bedroom villas starting price of around 18 million. And then the six bedroom villas on this island, they had starting prices of around 32, 33 million. And this project is currently sold out. And even if you compare the prices of District 1 West with the phase which is completing in 2024, which is called phase three, and then the ready phase, so then you can kind of understand quickly like where the gaps are. So over here, our ready property in District 1 is 19 to 25 million. And then in phase three, which is handing over later this year, that's 13 to 14 million. And, and then in District 1 West, 
in the resale market. I know it gets a bit confusing. Over here, you can buy a four bedroom for 11 to 12 million. So you can kind of see the gap between the ready and off-plan market. And then if you're comparing the prices per square foot here with district one ready, so you can see the difference, right? So $900 to even $1,300 per square foot. But that is where the gap is. And that is why these projects sell out so quickly. Okay, so that's a quick kind of uh, comparison between Golf Place and D1 West. I could obviously talk, we could obviously talk about Nada Shiba Gardens, Acres, these are other competing projects in the areas. I don't want to drag this video on too long. People have a short attention span. I think most of the content being made on real estate in Dubai is on Instagram itself. I just can't do that short content, but uh, you know, for brevity's sake, this is a quick comparison for you. And if you'd like to, you know, contact us, connect with us, talk about different villa projects, understand valuations. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Try to add value to your search and do consider subscribing to our channel if you find our content useful. And that way, you know, you'll get, get alerts when, when we publish new similar type of content. Okay, thank you very much.